then he said, these reactors are like all reactors. They have the potential to make weapons. So you might end up supplying the worst nuclear violator with the means to acquire the very weapons we're trying to prevent it from acquiring. Of and course. He, I mean, this is, but I mean, you tell a good old boy this. They can't find Korea on a map. And they just say, shut up, commie. We need to nuke them. And you're like, uh, the government's taken our freedoms and our rights. Our government's been hijacked and they, and they just look at you like you're an idiot. When meanwhile, Rumsfeld is running around arming everybody. I'm sick of these traitors wrapping themselves in the American flag, Paul. I know. And then, uh, even after Bush declared them part of the axis of evil, he, he gave them another $95 million in 2002. And again, more money in January 2003. Those light water reactors, we're told, the, the building of them was suspended later on. So the key thing that I emphasize is the AQ Khan connection, because people say, oh, those reactors were dismantled and all this. But it's still interesting that they knew these light water reactors could produce nuclear bombs, and they were happy to give them to the uh, Stalinist dictator Kim Jong-il when he was threatening to destroy the world at the same time and actually firing missiles, that one of which of the warhead actually reached Alaska. That was reported by a South Korean. Oh, <laughs> Hans Blix, oh no! <laughs> I don't think Hans Blix is going to be too keen on inspecting those weapons if, if the South Koreans and the U.S. try to get that deal through. <laughs> oh! You know, I try to make jokes about it, gallows humor. Paul, do one more segment with us in an entire hour of your phone calls. I'm going to break down some other key points in economic news. Uh, this doesn't look good, folks. I mean, you got Israel running wild, saber rattling, Russia doing it, China doing it, Japan doing it, North Korea doing it, South Korea doing it, Pakistan under Al Qaeda siege. We're going to go live at PrisonPlanet.tv at the second segment, eight after next hour. I usually do about three, four hours live. We did yesterday. We did three and a half live, but we always do at least uh, an hour and 50 minutes or so live at PrisonPlanet.tv. Another reason to be a PrisonPlanet.tv subscriber, five years up and running since uh, April five years ago, so five plus years. All of my films in super high quality. My radio show simulcasted with documents and exclusive video clips, extras for my major films that are not in the films. We're about to put some of the extras that were not on the DVD of the Obama deception just for PrisonPlanet.tv members up uh, next week for folks. Uh, coming up next week on June 3rd, the Reflections and Warnings with Aaron Russo will be posted for PrisonPlanet.tv. More of the behind-the-scenes interview, interview I never released at PrisonPlanet.tv before. You can also get that entire DVD, 90-plus minute presentation at InfoWars.com. That is going to be shipping out starting next Monday. We just got those in, the DVDs today. We also now have the new monthly best of, the first monthly best of with David Icke, Alan Watt, and many, many others. That is available at InfoWars.com. And your purchases also make this radio show possible. So I want to thank everybody for their support. Plus, these films are waking people up. In game. Obama Deception, Terror Storm, Fabled Enemies by Jason Burmis, uh, Truth Rising. They are all so important. That's why the establishment's trying to demonize us and counter us. If you take action and get these films to make copies, nothing can stop us. But PrisonPlanet.tv, it just gets better and better. It's been redesigned, upgraded. A bunch of new functions are going to be added soon. Phase two of the upgrade. Check out PrisonPlanet.tv today because we're going to have uh, quite a few uh, new things. That new monthly best of is going to be up there next week. Uh, the new uh, Aaron Russo presentation is going to be up there with a lot of never-before-seen footage uh, starting next week at PrisonPlanet.tv. And uh, your calls are coming up. Cal, Derek, Fred, Dave, John, Leo, and others uh, in the next hour. Paul Watson, the few minutes we've got left, uh, so many angles, so many points to all this. Are you sharing my concern historically with the Rand Corporation documents saying they want this war and everything else, that that the globalists need a war and that all over the world they're pulling out the stops to try to cause regional conflicts as a pretext for wider wars? Yeah, that's definitely the case. 
obviously whether this was going to be it, nobody knows. And the key, um, the keystone on which it will rest will be China's reaction because if they, you know, commit to their um, agreement with North Korea to defend them, then it could uh, escalate into a wider conflict. So cooler heads have got to prevail. Um, we witnessed similar things in October 2006 when there was that first nuclear test, which basically turned out to be a nuclear fizzle. It wasn't a massive bomb by North Korea. But I'm seeing much more saber-rattling after this one, this time around. So hopefully it's going to die down again. But with the uh, U.S military-industrial complex busy coddling and protecting the uh, biggest arms dealers in the world, like the CIA asset A.Q. Khan, who sold North Korea its nuclear weapons and the know-how with how to construct them, then anything's possible. Absolutely. Hey, on a side note, Kevin Trudeau just text messaged me. Hi, uh, hi Kevin. Uh, and uh, pretty wild to find out he's a podcast listener for years, uh, Watson. That's interesting, huh? Yes, it is. That article about him saying he was hanging out with the Bilderberg people in uh, Greece, by the way, is up on PrisonPlanet.com. Well, let's let's hope this isn't World War III, the beginnings of it, Paul Watson. We'll keep reading your reports. The New World Order Beast is genetically modifying your food, mixing vegetables with animals, and now experimenting with viruses. Without a long-term long food solution, you will have just two options. Starve, surrender, or surrender. surrender. All canned food supplies. All canned food supplies will eventually run out. What then? Then. Grow your own healthy food and feed your family forever. SurvivalistSeeds.com is now the nation's largest bulk heirloom seed company. And it's owned by a real patriot, Big John Lipscomb. You can now, you have, can now have an infinite amount of healthy vegetables like a watermelon, a bundle of carrots, or tomatoes for a little more than a penny each. SurvivalistSeeds.com. And now you can go into business with Big John at SurvivalistSeeds.com by becoming an affiliate. See his link at SurvivalistSeeds.com. 